Okay, in this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of RethinkDB. I'm going to start by cloning the tutorial project on GitHub and run Docker Compose. You can see uh, this Docker Compose, we're running two containers. One is a Node.js app that connects to RethinkDB and the other is a container that's running RethinkDB. And we've mapped the RethinkDB ports uh, 8080 to 38080. Uh, that's the one we're interested in right now. And we mapped the Node.js port from 3000 to 33000. So let's jump into RethinkDB. So this is the RethinkDB admin. Uh, this is the dashboard. We're going to create a table in this test database called games. Maybe at some point we'll actually create a game. Uh, this just shows you your servers that are connected to your cluster. We're not going to mess with that right now, but we are going to look at the data explorer. So the first thing we'll do is get all of the games, and you'll see there are no games yet. So to insert a new game, it's pretty simple. You just call db.table.insert, and then you pass in a JSON document. So let's just say, for example, we have a game with player one and player two. And then we have a status of ready. So you can see that that insert was successful. And if I query the games table again, this time you can see the game that we returned. Uh, now I can update a game. Uh, first I would call get with the ID of the game and then update and then I pass in the JSON that I want to update. So I could change player two and then change the status. And if I get the game again, you'll see player two changed and the status changed. Or I could add a new field. Uh, let's say score, whatever. Now when I look at the game, you can see the, the score there. Now let's insert another game, ID2. Let's just do that. Now I can see I have two games. And I can delete all by just calling delete. Or you can call get delete, and that'll delete a specific game. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code and open up this project real quick. So like I said, this is a very simple Node.js app. Here's the Docker Compose file uh, that specifies the two containers that we're running. Uh, the Node.js app uses um, EJS uh, as a template engine, uh, and it's a simple express app. So the only thing we're doing in the app is connecting to RethinkDB and storing the connection in a variable. And whenever a call to slash is received, uh, we render the index view, and we pass it a status of whether or not uh, we're connected. And if we look at the index view, you'll see we're just looking at that connected variable. And if we're connected, then we say, hey, we're connected to RethinkDB. Otherwise, we say we're unable to connect. So if I go ahead and go to this Node.js file, you can see, oh, yeah, we're connected to RethinkDB. All right, great. Um, and any change that we make here will automatically reload. And that's because we're running Nodemon inside the Node.js container, which monitors the file system. So let's make a change, refresh. Yeah, we're connected to RethinkDB, hooray. Let me open a terminal real quick. Let me set up my Docker environment real quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill this. If I go back, you'll see you know, we can't connect to our RethinkDB container or our Node.js container, obviously. Now, killing the containers from Docker Compose doesn't actually um, remove the containers. So the next time you run Docker Compose up, it's the same exact containers. 
so the state is saved and everything. So if I come back to rethink DB and I look at the games, well, I deleted the games, but you'll see that I still have the games table is still there. That didn't get erased. And Node.js doesn't change because this is reading uh, the source from the local file system anyways. Now, on the other hand, if I, if I remove the containers, so I'm going to stop them, D5 and E4, and then I'm going to remove them, D5, E4. Obviously, these are down again. Uh, I'll do Docker Compose up again. This time I'll run it so you can see the output. Now if I go back to RethinkDB, you'll see our games table is gone. And that's because we completely removed the containers.